Welcome folks to this tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to deal with single source circuit and we're gonna learn how to deal with those kind of circuits through examples so this is gonna be the first example here so if we look into the circuit this is a circuit that is given to us and in this circuit we call it resistive circuit because we have a bunch of resistors but what's important here is that you have a single source so here we have a single voltage source that's equal to 15 volt and then we have a bunch of resistors and the value of all those resistors are given to us so this resistor R1 has a magnitude of 20 ohms this is R2 which has a value of 50 ohms this is R3 which has a value of 15 ohms R4 is 80 ohms and finally R5 is 120 ohms so all the resistor values are given to us and so is the source value is also given to us so this kind of circuits are called single source circuits there is only one single source that supply the circuit and the easiest technique to solve for this circuit is to use the R equivalent technique so in this particular example we have given you all those values with the voltage source but we wanted to solve for IX which is the current that is flowing through the 120 ohm resistor so again the technique to solve for the circuit is to use our equivalent and then we will be able to solve for the currents through the circuit so if you will look into the circuit you can see that this resistor which is the last resistor R5 going to be in series with the R4 uh, so you can say that the 80 ohm resistor which is R4 is in series with R5 which is the 120 ohm resistor because they are in series then we can combine those two resistors into one equivalent resistance so this equivalent resistance which is the sum of those two resistors going to be in parallel with this R2 resistor which is the 50 ohm so the equivalent of those two series resistors the 80 ohm plus the 120 ohms will be in parallel with the 50 ohm resistor then those two resistors can be combined into one equivalent resistance so the equivalent resistance here going to be in series with R1 which is the 120 ohm resistor and it also be in series with R3 which is the 15 ohm resistor so now we have three resistors in series where the equivalent resistance can be found easily it's basically the sum of this resistor plus the equivalent of that resistor plus this resistor once we find the overall equivalent resistance we can solve for the total current flowing through the equivalent resistance using Ohm's law that's the basic concept on how you are going to solve for the total current basically by finding our equivalent once I total is found then we know this total current will go through this resistor uh, which is R1 and then it will branch some of that current will go through R2 and the other current will go through this equivalence resistance uh, which is the same as IX so we can solve for IX using the current divider technique which I'm going to show you how to do that shortly so let's go through the steps of finding R equivalent so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to combine those two resistors into one equivalence resistance so to do that basically you're going to add them up uh, those two resistors here are going to have this equivalent resistance that we have and this equivalent resistance is basically the sum of the two resistors uh, so we're going to call this resistor to be R equivalent 1 then we're going to say that R equivalent 1 will equal to the 120 ohms plus the 80 ohms this resistor plus that resistor which is 200 ohms so it's crucial to redraw the circuit so all what we did is we combined those two resistors into one equivalent resistor then we're going to uh, draw the remaining of the circuit and that is the remaining of the circuit now what is important here is that ix which is the current going through this equivalent resistance 
is the same as the current going through the 120 ohm resistor because those two resistors are in series they're going to have the same current if they have the same current then ix going to be the same as the equivalent resistance so that is important here so ix is the same current flowing through the equivalent resistance so now what we can see is we can see that those two resistors are in parallel so we can combine those two resistors together it's easy for us to combine two resistors in parallel into one equivalent resistance so we're going to do that and when we do that then we are going to replace those two resistors with their equivalent resistance i'm going to call it r equivalent 2 r eq2 r equivalent 2 which is basically the equivalence of 50 ohms in parallel with the 200 ohms those two resistors in parallel and that should equal to 40 ohms now the question becomes how to evaluate the R equivalent so most of you will use the product over the sum which is R2 times R equivalent 1 over RQ plus R equivalent 1 however this a uh, particular uh, technique is a little bit slower there is a faster way to do it especially if you are a student and you doing it during the exam so I'll show you how to do it using your calculator quickly so what we do we say that R equivalent to which is this resistor going to be the 200 in parallel with the 50 and we know that this is going to equal to 40 so the way you're going to calculate that is you're going to say that the 200 reciprocal every calculator almost have this button where you have 1 over x or x to the minus 1 so you say 200 reciprocal which means that the inverse of that and then you're going to do plus 50 reciprocal so basically here what you're doing is you are adding the reciprocals and by adding the reciprocals you get the result now then our equivalent is basically the reciprocal of the sum of the reciprocals uh, this is the best method you can have or do to calculate our equivalent using the calculator it's the fastest way of doing it it's much faster than doing the product of the sum but anyway when you do that you will get the answer going to be 40 ohms so we were able to calculate our equivalent to be 80 ohms now this technique is a little bit faster I recommend the students to do it and it doesn't have to be for two resistors it can be for three or four or or more resistors in parallel basically you add the reciprocals you get the result then do the reciprocal again and that's basically going to be our equivalent so this is our equivalent which combines those two resistors together now we're going to draw the rest of the circuit which is this part of the circuit so when we draw the rest of the circuit, basically we're going to have the 20 ohms and the 15 volts and then the 15 ohm again. So that's what we have. You draw the rest of the circuit. But what's important here is that the total current that's supplied by the voltage source, which will flow through the 20 ohm resistor in this circuit and this circuit is going to be the same. Now we can find the total current easily if we can find the R equivalent of those three resistors in series so the equivalent resistance basically going to be the sum of those three resistors uh, and we can say that our equivalent will equal to the 20 ohms that's the 20 ohms here plus the 40 ohms that's the 40 ohms plus the 15 ohms and that's the 15 ohms which will equal to 75 ohms so now we found our equivalent then we can find the total current easily the total current is basically nothing but the Vs over R equivalent, Vs is the 15 volts over the total equivalent resistance which is the 75 ohms so we have 15 over 75 and that's going to basically give us 0.2 amps now we know that the current going to be 0.2 amps so we solved for the total current so this is the total current we solved for which corresponds to this total current but that's not what I'm after. I'm after Ix, so I need to solve for this current, Ix. And to solve for this current, Ix, I can use the concept of current divider. Whenever I have two resistors in parallel, if I have two resistors in parallel, and I know the total current going through 
those two parallel resistors, which is I total, so the total current will go through those two resistors, then the current through this resistor, the 200 ohm resistor, by using the current divider concept, is basically the opposite resistor, which is the 50 ohms, over the sum, which is the 50 ohms plus the 200 ohms, times the total current, which is IT. So then we can say that Ix will equal to R2 over R2 plus R equivalent times the total current. This is the current divider. It's the opposite resistor over the sum of the two resistors times the total current. So the opposite resistor is 50 ohms over 50 plus 200 times the total current, which is 0 0.2. And this will equal to 40 milliamps. So, in summary, if you basically wanted to solve for a single source circuit and you have all the values for the resistors and you have the value of that source, whether it is voltage source or current source, the best way to do it is to find R equivalent and then you can use voltage and current dividers to solve for any voltage or current in the circuit. That's the easiest way out because some of you who learn different techniques or they're going to learn different techniques, you can solve for the same circuit using nodal analysis or you can use mesh analysis. You're going to have I1 here and I2 here and you can do mesh analysis. Those techniques are going to be more complicated. It is easier to find R equivalent just like we did here and once you find R equivalent then you can work the circuit using current and voltage divider. In this particular example we use current divider to solve for IX. So the easiest technique to do for single source circuit is basically R equivalent and that's something that we need to consider every time we solve for circuit problem.